How are you doing well today? Welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm so excited today. I want to try a recipe. It's a blueberry sweet rolls with a sweet lemon glaze. I love uh, using fruit, and my apple cinnamon rolls were just so delicious. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use my dough recipe. I'm gonna use. Uh, I've got this recipe from Sally's Baking Edition, Baking Addiction. Her her blog, I always forget about it, but I get so inspired by looking her at her blog. She is a great, great baker, and I think she cooks as well. So I'm going to try, I'm going to change the recipe just a little bit, but I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you only have to let it rise once, but when you put the cold blueberries in, because they, they have to be frozen, then your dough is going to be cold, so you have to heat the oven up a little bit and then turn it off so... You wait until the rice might be longer. You can also leave the dough in overnight and cook them in the morning. But, of course, I'm impatient, so I'm going to do it all in one day. I hope you enjoy the video, and let's hope the recipe comes out great. I have a good feeling that it's going to come out great. If you didn't, if you like blueberries and lemon, it's going to be delicious. So let's get started. Let's measure some things, so that way you don't have to watch me measure everything. But if you like that, let me know. I'm just I, Sometimes I know my videos are a little bit long, but this I want to show you. You have to use frozen blueberries for this recipe. Uh, they release juices better than fresh and this is I'm just using great value blueberries I really like to buy the wild ones but they didn't have any so and we use a lot of blueberries for smoothies so I apologize because I'm gonna have to keep looking at my notes I wrote down the recipe the way I'm gonna make it and uh, my printer's not working or I printed the whole recipe I wrote down my ingredients but I did not write the directions so hopefully it'll be okay Anyway, so this is a fourth cup of sugar, and I added about a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're going to just put this in the blueberries. And, and also, it calls for a teaspoon of cornstarch, but I'm going to add two because I want it to thicken up pretty well. So let's just give this a toss. And uh, she says set it aside, but I think I'm going to put mine... Actually, I'm going to set them aside, and I'm going to see. It's pretty warm today. I don't know why I'm wearing long sleeves. Yeah, but it's getting hot already in Louisiana, and uh, I I like summer, but it's so humid here, and uh, it kind of, I'm trying not to be uh, negative about it, because I want to be positive about every season we have, because it's a gift, And uh, but baking is a cut down a little bit, because the oven heats up the house, but I do have the air fryer, so I will be trying recipes in that, so... I mix this well. Now we need to wash those. I think I'm going to set them aside. If they start getting uh, too thawed, I'm going to set them back in the freezer. Anyway, so let's move on to the next step. In this step. bowl, I'm going to do my dry ingredients. Now, uh, she calls for two and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour. My all-purpose flour, I think, is uh, I'll buy all different kinds sometimes. But I think it's white lily. So I like to mix mine with bread flour. I, I always do that for my cinnamon rolls. And I apologize because in the beginning, I said I'm going to use our recipe. But I lied. I'm going to use... Uh, the way I like to make it uh, in a lot of areas. So, uh, and also you're going to want to reserve a half of a cup. So I'm going to put that to the side. And I have a teaspoon of salt in here. And uh, I, this is, the, I have another yeast, but I'm trying to use all this one before I open it. I think this yeast is still pretty good. I baked not too long ago, so it should be okay. And it calls for a packet of uh, active dry yeast or a packet of instant yeast. But I buy mine in bulk. And the packet is two and one fourth teaspoons, but I always add two and a half teaspoons. I just like the least flavor and I find it rises a little bit better. So I'll show you. I'm just going to use about that much. And I'm going to, and I keep my yeast in the freezer. So we're going to just mix this together. You know, when I make dough, I always start with the liquid, but today I'm going to start putting my dry ingredients in my mixer. And you can make these by hand. Now we're going to move to the mixer and mix this up. And I'll tell you the liquid the, ingredients. Uh, flour. And we, remember, we, re we reserved a half a cup. So we're going to use the dough. Uh, it seems like it seems like it's not, not enough flour, but it, I'll, I, I kind of know what, what I want my dough to look like. So anyway, we're also going to add sugar. And she calls for three tablespoons. And of course, I have to have four because I like a sweeter dough. Oh, my sugar stuck to my container. Did I say that I added a little bit of lemon zest to the blueberries? I don't believe I said that. 
So that's one reason I'm going to add a little bit of sugar because I want my blueberries to be on the zesty side. So let's put the dough hook in. And then on the liquid ingredients, I have, uh, you know, I don't have my glasses on. I have a half cup of water and a fourth cup of milk and two and a half tablespoons of butter all in this cup. So I'm just going to pour this in. And we're also going to add a room temperature large egg and another, what do you call that? <laughs> Added thing that I did, just a half teaspoon of vanilla. And uh oh, my vanilla is sticking to my container and I have to get that all out. I like to use that vanilla bean paste. Yeah, we, we definitely don't want to waste any of that vanilla. It's really hot right now. Okay. So, let's start mixing this. And I have a feeling we're going to have to add that half cup of flour. But let's start mixing this. Get it well combined. And also, I heated my oven. She says to heat it to 200. When I heat my oven to 200, it's way too hot. So I heat it to about 113, and then I turn it off, and I leave the light on, and I need a spatula. Oh yeah, we definitely gonna need that flour. I don't know if I, I'm just throwing it all in. Let's scrape down the bowl. I like to I mix it a little bit, help it along. And I'm gonna grab my all-purpose flour, just in case. I might have not measured my butter exactly. Because I love butter so much. Oh, and that butter cake I made, if you didn't see that video, watch that video. The, it was so good. And I, just to let you guys know, now I'm not going to apologize because I like to bake. And uh, sometimes we have a sweet tooth. And like I said, I need to practice my bread baking, right? So, I, need to make, I like to try new recipes, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, let me get my flour. Let me mix this a little while and I'll be back. showing you how I measured the flour. I spooned it into the cup and then leveled it off. I usually scoop it into my container, fluff it up, and then put my cup in. This definitely is going to need a little bit more flour. Not much. But I'm not, my mix is very loud. So let me mix this up. Let's go ahead and add a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. You probably should start with tablespoons, but I think a fourth of a cup is going to be fine. So let me get this to the right consistency. I'll tell you what I added and I'll show you what right it looks now. like. I'm trying to get it really close up. It's still a little bit wet, but you want to keep kneading it because it will clear the sides of the bowl. But because I've done this kind of dough many times, I'm going to go ahead and add probably about two tablespoons. And once I get it to the right consistency, I'll show you and then we're going to knead it for about Five minutes. See what it looks like. It's a little bit sticky, but I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna scrape my bowl, and I'm just gonna keep kneading it. I set my timer for four minutes, and I'm. I usually do it on two, but when I have a smaller amount, sometimes I'll do it on three. KitchenAid says you're not supposed to go above two for bread dough, but this is a really soft dough, so I'm just gonna keep me probably on two. But I added one more tablespoon of flour, so I'm just gonna let it go right here and. Uh, and then we'll move it to another yeah, yeah. bowl. It's still pretty sticky. I'm gonna, you could put flour on your hands or, I hope I didn't throw off the uh, recipe because I have a nine inch cake pan that I'm, I was supposed to use. I don't know if I'm gonna have too much dough or, but it's a little bit sticky, but I didn't want to add too much flour. Uh, I'm gonna use my, I got a, a, a greased bowl here. I'm going to use my, my dough scraper to get it out. I usually just use my hands, but this one's pretty sticky. I just plop it in here like that. And uh, try, to get, try to get the bowl pretty clean. That's one thing. I do not like washing the, a bowl that has dough in it. I'll, let, I'll just let it soak for a little while. Let's see if I can get this off. This, this is really sticky. And I did my trick on my little pastry mat where you spray a little cooking oil spray and then you just dust it lightly with flour and it's just not sticky. And I'm getting really messy today. I'm really playing in the dough. 
I got flour all over me. I should have put an apron on. I'm gonna coat it with spray. And we're gonna let this rest. I might have to put a little bit more flour on my board. I'm gonna let this rest. She says 10 minutes, I'm gonna let it rest, I guess, about 10, 15 minutes. But, and then we're gonna just go ahead and roll it out. My blueberries look good. So I'm ex so excited for this recipe. I'll tell you what else I'm craving, peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter bars and with chocolate on them and, uh, and uh, you make it with oatmeal. I wanna try that next. Sometimes I wish I had uh, more people to give some food away to because I wanna cook constantly. But you know, you can only eat so much and I don't like to waste. And my freezers are full, by the way. You can also freeze these once they're, uh, once it, you have the blueberries in and you roll it. And a lot of people, I read all the comments, the people that used it, uh, that, that put it in the refrigerator overnight, said it was really delicious. It developed more flavor. But we're gonna do it this yeah, way. I put a little bit more flour on my little pastry mat. And I needed just a little bit of flour in this. So I'm gonna let it rest again. And it feels really, really nice. I hope I didn't overdo it with the flour, but it was just so sticky and it still is. So it's still a soft dough. So we're just gonna have to add a little flour, but I, anyway, I'm gonna let it rest a little bit longer to make it easier to roll out. And you know, while it's resting, while I, when I've let uh, things happen, I like to clean my dishes as I go. Uh, I like to clean as I go. That way I don't have a huge mess at the end. It looks like my blueberries are getting a little bit soft, so I better hurry up. And you know, I didn't read the directions while well, I read them. Well, uh, you can let this rise for two hours, but what I did, I took a pot and I put water in it I, and I put, I made it uh, boil and I poured the water into a loaf pan and I put it in my oven so I can speed up the process. It's just a little trick I like to do because I just don't have a lot of patience and then I have to cook supper also today. It's about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and try to roll it out. Let's sprinkle just a little bit of flour on it. And uh, I'm not very good when they give you measurements. When, I, when it's time to roll a circle, I roll a rectangle. When it's time to roll a rectangle, I roll a circle. Oh, dough might not be ready yet. But we're gonna try it. I need the oven for another recipe. I should have picked another. I sh there was a, another recipe I wanted to try, blueberry biscuits. I love biscuits too. Yeah, this is not looking like a very good rectangle, but that's okay. I can make it work. And I got my measuring tape out just in case. And I might have a little bit extra. We'll see. And you kind of roll it to the thickness you want. Oops, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I have a, I've acquired some cookbooks. And I wanted to do a video about them. Uh, I'm kind of shy, and I don't. Besides showing you to them, I, there's a, so many recipes. Like I can't show it in one video. Everything that I have found, I could talk about a few. Uh, they're they're great. They're great books, and some of them are old. And uh, so, if you'd like to see a video like that, let me know. Uh, it just depends on the day whether I'm capable of doing a video like that or not. But I think I'm, I am. I, I really like these cookbooks, and this is way off. This is, oh yeah, this is way off. You know what? We're just going to roll with it. It's not even straight. That's okay. Let's give our blueberries a stir. They're a little thawed. That's okay. I don't know. I've just been liking fruit things lately. And I've been looking for the perfect granola recipe, or granola bars, but I don't want them to be too hard. Yeah, I might have to cut some of this dough off and do something else with it, because this is a little bit too much. I want to make sure I get all the sugar out and cornstarch. And I'm, blueberries are not the best fruit to work with because they stain everything. So I'm going to have to cut some of this dough off to make them come out. I want it to be full of blueberries. And I could add some more, actually. But I don't want to make too, too many rolls. Let's see here. 
we want it about a half inch from sides. So we're going to cut some off. All right, now I'm going to cut too much off. Let's see here. This is going to be difficult to roll up. Seems like I picked the most the difficult recipes, but there's a lot of recipes I know how to make. I've made croissants. I don't know how to film that, though, because it's over two days. And the video it might be too long, but I'll figure it out. I'm still learning. I have so much to learn still, but I just love sharing recipes. Okay, let's try to move our blueberries in. Now, I don't know this... I've got this pin here. We'll see if what happens. Now, I like my recipes that I try to be successful, but, you know, sometimes I'm not successful. But I do try my best. And the dough is really soft, and you want to roll it up tightly. I hope you can see. Uh, this is going to be so full of blueberries. And my oven is pretty warm. This is not even going to fill up the pan. I could always re-roll that dough and just make regular cinnamon rolls or add more blueberries to it. And you want to pinch the seams if you can. I might need some water. Yeah, let me get some water. Get water. Because I want my seam. I want it to be tight. I might have rolled it too thin. I'm going to try to stretch it out a little bit. But my blueberries are not poking through the dough. Which, that's a good thing. Okay. Now, I don't know how many, We're just going to cut half, then half. Look how pretty they are, though. That's going to be so pretty. I'm probably going to roll it a little bit thicker. I'm trying to make two out of this one. And if you drop some blueberries, just stick them in there. All right, let's cut this one. Oh, I got a hole right there. Oh, I almost cut my finger off. Yeah, these are small, which doesn't bother me one bit. Okay, this one needs blueberry. Well, I could have got a different pan, but we're just going to roll with this one. This is what it looks like. So let's put it, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap. First, I'm going to wash my hands, and I'm going to set it in my oven, and we'll see how long it takes for them to double inside. See, I want them touching because what's going to happen is the, there's going to be a blueberry syrup at the bottom of, of these rolls. So I want them touching. So I'll switch to this little 8-inch pan. And I think it's going to work out just fine. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, I think the other pan was too big. My favorite kind of flour. Now, uh, this one, I like it for cakes, biscuits. I love this brand so much. And I can find this at Kroger. This one, I think I found this one. Uh, on, a, on a trip to Lafayette, this was my favorite bread flour for a long time. And my uh, local store that carried it stopped carrying this brand. But it makes the best bread. And King Arthur is also good, but this is my favorite for bread. So, okay, I don't have the patience to let them go two or three mm -hmm. hours. But you can see my blueberries were thawed a little bit too much. But we're gonna see if it makes a good blueberry syrup at the bottom. They didn't rise as much as I wanted to, but they should rise a little bit more in the oven. And uh, anyway, let's just see what happens. Oh, look, I'm steaming up. I just wanted to show you what they're looking like. They look like they might turn out well. Just wanted to show you, and I'm baking them at 375. See, the, uh, the blueberry juice did make us a delicious syrup. So I'm gonna show you how, what glaze we're gonna put on top. I juiced one lemon, and I'm gonna add about a cup of confectioner's sugar. I like to kind of add some and then mix and then see where I, where I am. And I'm also going to add uh, a couple of tablespoons of cream. 
love to add cream to my glazes. It just makes it richer and creamier. So let me get the cream. We need some. Oh, and when I say cream, I mean uh, heavy whipping cream. You could use half and half, or you could use milk, or probably water if you, if you like. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna add a, a little vanilla to this today. Can you believe that? <laughs> but I want it, I wanna have, uh, I wanna glaze them really well. I think the glaze sometimes is the best part. You could also add a little cream cheese to this. Let's see. Try to whisk out all the lumps. It's not the end of the world if you have a lump though. I'm gonna add one more, one more little dash of cream, not much. You kind of just make it the consistency you enjoy. Oh, I should have worn an apron today. I have been so messy. I'm like a bull in a china closet today. Okay. Now, I may use all of it. I may not. We'll see. But let's go ahead and pour them on there. Pour it on there. Just pour some on. And I'm trying not to dirty another dish. Let me, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry I turn it the wrong way for the camera. Sometimes I'm just, I feel awkward. Let's see. And they're still warm, so it's going to melt into there. I think these, I think these are going to be really good. I'm, I'm covering up all the blueberries. Okay, that's probably enough. I'm going to taste it. I love lemon. Okay, I'm going to let it cool off for a minute, and then we're going to give it a taste test. I can't wait. show you. The, there's some blueberry syrup underneath, and I did make it pretty thick, and there's some on this side, but I tasted it. Oh, my goodness. Ella is eating, so I think I'm going to do the taste test by myself. So let me turn the camera around, because I can't wait. I have to taste it. This way, we're in a different area. Uh, sometimes we eat right here. Actually, we eat here a lot, because the computer's on the table. But this is what they look like. I know it's kind of dark in here, but I mean, they're, they're small. I did make them small. To be honest with you, I thought maybe this was a failure recipe, but I should have more faith in myself because I think they're going to be outstanding. It's pretty hot, so let me blow on it a second. And uh, I just love blueberries and lemon together. The lemon's really good. Um, it really, it really adds, lemon and blueberries just go well together. And the little bit of cinnamon is delicious. This is so good. I don't know if I like this one better than my apple cinnamon rolls, because I love those. And my dough sometimes is different every time I uh, make some. Mm. Very good. Look how soft that is. It's just so good. Well, I hope so. Now I'll be able to share it. And uh, like I said, I got uh, the inspiration from Sally's Baking Edition Addiction. I can't say it properly. Oh, and I'm not looking at the camera. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm looking at myself. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Had a lot of fun today. It's always fun making new recipes. And uh, come join me next time. And who knows what we'll, be, what we'll be making. But have a good day. And I will see you soon. And Elle's on the side of me. So you can kind of see her a little bit. But that's all she wants to do. So bye.